One of the alternatives to liver resection is something called microwave ablation or radiofrequency ablation. This is a technique whereby a liver tumor is treated where we actually don't remove the tumor, but we actually kill the tumor in place. The reason we do ablation is there's a host of reasons, either because the liver is such that it can't be re removed, there's not enough liver to regenerate, or the tumor is in such a bad location that liver resection is not feasible. It may be because of the patient's age or their complicated medical condition where a liver resection is just too big a surgery for them to handle. Uh, there are cases also where there may be some underlying problems with the liver where if we remove a large part of the liver, there's not sufficient health and size of what's left, what's called the liver remnant, for the recovery, for an anticipated recovery. So for the microwave or radio frequency ablation, microwave and radio frequency are both heat. Uh, microwave, you probably are more familiar with because of uh, its use as, as a heating source for cooking, but essentially, a probe is put into the liver and hooked up to a generator and the tumor is actually heated and you can actually see this happening because we have an ultrasound probe right on the surface of the liver and those sound waves actually allow us to watch the procedure and will heat and kill the tumor with heat but not only the tumor but we'll also get a rim around the tumor so this whole area is ablated or uh, kill. This usually takes anywhere from uh, 4 minutes up to 12 minutes uh, with the microwave, longer with the radiofrequency ablation, but we'll basically uh, uh, heat the tumor, kill the tumor so that all the proteins in the cells within the tumor disrupt and the, and the tumor dies. Now what happens is the, the, the body, this will just turn to scar tissue and what you'll see on a CAT scan is basically just a dark hole where the tumor was. There won't be any vascularity to it. Nothing will enhance on the CAT scan. So we'll just see a dark void or a dark black hole there. And that tells us that the tumor has been killed. We won't know for sure about how well we, we did until we get that first CAT scan a month or so after your surgery. We'll have a, a pretty good idea based on how well the procedure goes. Now the ablations are different than the resections because the recovery is different. The big difference between a microwave ablation, for example, and a liver resection is the recovery is much quicker with the ablation. Because you're not removing part of the liver, most of the recovery from liver resection is during that liver regeneration period. But with microwave ablation, we don't have to deal with that. So this is much, would be much better tolerated, for example, if, if we have an older, more frail patient, we would be able to do the microwave ablation much more readily than we would a major liver resection. But the ablations have a very low complication rate, just a, a major complications that really should be 5% or less. And the recovery is a lot quicker. So generally for the laparoscopic uh, ablations, the, it would just be an overnight hospital stay, uh, clear liquids right after the procedure and home the next day. If it's a more complicated procedure or there's multiple ablations, maybe a 48 hour stay. But essentially, uh, it's a fairly quick recovery. Most of these are done laparoscopically and uh, uh, generally we'll see the patients back in a couple of weeks and most of them can make, get back to normal activity within a, a few week time frame. The big uh, uh, major complication I just need to mention would be that of infection. Uh, uh, occasionally, although rare, these uh, microwave ablation sites can get infected, and in that particular case, it would have to be treated with antibiotics. Uh, uh, fortunately, the complication rate for this is uh, uh, fairly low. Uh, there will be some pain associated with this, especially if the tumor and the ablation is on the surface of the liver because the surface of the liver has nerve fibers patients will be uncomfortable if we have to ablate a surface lesion. So we'll talk about that. Uh, I'll let you know if this is a, a tumor deep within the liver that is less likely to be associated with any discomfort. All the patients will go home with some uh, pain pills uh, as necessary and anti-inflammatory medications to help with the inflammation around the surgical site.